Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Project Manchester. Today we are going to proceed with our transfer window and also continue to build our squad to be top level again. First off, of course, I'm looking through my players and seeing the dispensable players such as Harry Maguire, I think, is a joke right now as well around Manchester. So I'm seeing when he started our contract and it seems like we signed him recently. So I'm going to let him stay for a while and see how he develops. Diogo Dallo goes on the transfer list. Luke Shaw as well. And Daniel James. All these players that I think are not good enough for the squad and are just, you know, money waiting to be made. So I just list all these players, including Victor Lindelof and uh, Jesse Lingard, who I think are also expendable. Bailly as well, with his injury-prone nature, I think uh, it's best to let him go when he is fit. I'm also making tactical changes as well. Um, after last episode, I saw that the 4-2-3-1 wide formation did not work as well as I wanted it to. So I decided to bring in the central defensive mid role uh, to the squad so that we could bolster up the defense and make sure that our defense is not overrun. So that's going to be it on the tactical side. And of course, I'm making my first signing through Tagliafico at Ajax. I think he's a splendid left back. Uh, he really has this ambition forward and also being a strong defensive player so I'm thinking of bringing him in and made the transfer request. Now our first uh, friendly game here is against Salzburg and I'm going to test out this new 4-1-2-3 formation. Uh, last time out we did try it out and it seemed to be working pretty well so I decided to continue uh, testing out with this formation and seeing what happens uh, with the squad and how the squad can develop. Uh, this also means that Bruno Fernando will not be playing in the Cambrol, but instead will be playing in the central mid as a Mazala, I think that's what it's called. Uh, he will be more of a free-roaming um, attacking player, I believe that's what it's called, but it seems to be the best fit for him in the midfield, so I decided to put him there. Pogba as a supporting central midfield player who can make uh, advanced plays, and then McTominay in the central defensive mid role because I think he is great. And of course, we saw Matic leave last time, so McTominay will be our starter in that position. I'm also making some changes on the wings. Lingard to see how he does, and if he does play well, it'll attract attention from other clubs. So hopefully Lingard can perform so that we can see him leave the club. Mata is also a very smart and creative player, so I wanted to see how he does on the right-hand side. Otherwise, everything pretty much stays the same with Martial up top and the defensive four staying the same with Maguire and Lindelof in the middle. So we test this formation out, see how we fare against Salzburg. Of course, Salzburg is better than our under 23s, and seeing the under 23 side uh, almost scrape a draw with us, it was interesting to see. And here we go, straight off the bat, Martial scores in the fourth minute, or rather fifth minute, uh, straight. Uh, free kick from our side, uh, straight down the middle, over the top, and Martial finds the loopholes in the defense and slots a finesse shot straight to the bottom right-hand corner, and that is a great start to the match. Salzburg again try to hit back, uh, playing some nice short passes in the back and find the ball over the top, and that seems to be a penalty call. It seems like our defender, Lindelof, got the ball, but the referee disagrees, and it's a straight red card for Lindelof. So we are down a defender, which causes us a headache, but it is something that we need to experience during preseason so that we can be prepared for the regular season. And I'm trying to figure out who I should pull out and decide on Paul Pogba, because I think McTominay is still important in the defensive uh, role in the central midfield. Um, and I just decided to bring on uh, Tuanzebe instead of Pogba. And what a showing from De Gea. He blocks the penalty and we are still leading 1-0. It was a great showing from De Gea to uh, step up to the plate when that penalty was awarded. Now we are back with the ball and we were pretty dominant during this whole first half. And of course Martial gets another goal, but... It's ruled out for offside. Here's the replay from VAR. Lingard with the ball across, but Martial was just a tad bit offside. Uh, corner kick. Straight again. Martial scores 
fr uh, a looping header above the defenders. Nice cross in from Mata, and Martial towers above the defense and headers it into the net. So the game pretty much continued in the same vein. We were pretty dominant for the most part, and Salzburg had a couple chances against us. But here's another chance before halftime in the 43rd minute. De Gea passes it to Twanzebe at out of the back. De Gea finds Lingard. Lingard storms in. Mata finds Bruno, and Bruno just creates a bit of magic and finds the night again. Bruno is that creative player in the midfield, as you can see. Mata also stretching the defense a little um, to the edge of the field, and Bruno just finds the space and finds the power to send that screamer straight into the top corner and scores the goal. Um, Salzburg had a moment of a moment of beauty, really, uh, but they really couldn't. They couldn't break us down in the first half. Tony Martial gets his hat trick actually right there. Um, we defend, we intercept the ball, and I think Martial made the perfect run uh, and the lobbed ball over the defense really did help Martial seal the goal. So going into halftime, 4-0 up, and I was pretty happy, so I decided to tell them passionately that I'm happy with the results so far, and that they continue in the second half, and here we go into the second half. Uh, they make changes, but I think our side is still good enough, and I let them play for a bit, and I decided to bring on Greenwood instead of Lingard to see how Greenwood would fare. Uh, I was giving them an arrest uh, this game, but I thought, you know what, let's give him some play time. Pereira as well because I want to see him do well and then maybe get a transfer out of here. And then of course our new signing Van de Beek gets his debut for the club um, and I make him a defensive line playmaker so that he can supply Bruno Fernand and the wingers when they need it. Uh, also I make a couple more changes in the 74th minute. Uh, Brandon Williams in for Luke Shaw. Um, to bolster up the defense a little and as soon as I made that change Salzburg gets a corner kick and they header it in which is kind of a bummer I wanted to keep a clean sheet and I'm sure David De Gea was also very upset about it because it took a deflection off the defender I think it was Twanzebe but uh, we couldn't do much about it Rashford on for Martial to see out the rest of the game and pretty much Greenwood goes on a run and just slots it in like Greenwood is just insane. I think he's a youngster that really needs uh, a lot of game time because he is bagging goals here. This was a great run. Beats one defender, and just as the second defender steps up, he takes the shot, a nice finesse, to beat the keeper at his near post, and that was the game. 5-1 victory for us, and I was pretty happy. So I continued in the same vein, but more calmly told them that I was very happy the way they played, and I hoped it continued for future games. Now on the transfer side, Lindelof gets an offer from Guangzhou. Um, I see that they are willing to offer some good money so I tried to bump it up a bit and then they accept it so I said okay cool I'll accept that offer uh, Tagliafico as well uh, we're trying to sign him and I see Ajax is coming back with a 47 million I think uh, dollar offer but I tried to lower that to about the 40 million mark and I think we agree on a fee of 41 million uh, for Tagliafico so it's a it's pretty straightforward straight cash deal so we signed Tagliafico for 41 million now I want to bolster up the attack as well and Diogo Yota was or Hota, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, but Diogo is a great forward for Wolves and I want to bring him to United and I take a look at my transfer budget and I see I have about forty four million. So I'm trying to think in my head what kind of offer would be good. Uh, meanwhile I bring up Tai Chong to the first team. Uh, I also bring up Fosu Mensa because I think our right back position is a little empty. Uh, Fosu Mensa is injured at the moment so I'm hoping he'll be back up to fitness soon. Um, and then of course I also have to bring up uh, Dean Henderson from the under 23s. Um, he's out on loan at Sheffield United, I think. But when he comes back, I want to keep him in the first squad uh, to challenge David De Gea's spot and also to give a little spark to the goalkeeping position. Uh, 
So Tai Chong, I want to offer out to loan as well, uh, just because I think he can develop more outside of the first squad here. Because I think my front three is pretty set up: uh, Martial, Rashford, Greenwood. And then if I need to make changes, I'm going to add Juan Mata on there. Uh, Daniel James is also on the transfer list, but if he doesn't leave this time, because I think we just bought Daniel James as well, so I might bring him in a couple times. Um, Tai Chong immediately gains interest from other clubs um, and here I try to weigh my options seeing who wants him more uh, what op money is on the table and his agent tells me that he needs to uh, be in contact with Hertha Berlin so I accept that offer immediately and then I go through all these offers and see what money they're offering what kind of deals they're offering and make according uh, I make my decisions accordingly and Pereira also gets a loan offer, but regarding Pereira, I want to see him leave, so I reject all of these loan offers. The next game is up against QPR. I'll try to weigh my options with what players I have. Uh, Van der Beek, I want to give him a starting run here, so I think I put him in for Pogba just to see how that dynamic could change. Never mind, I bring Pogba back in, but uh, I instead try to see what Van der Beek could do in the CDM position because I'm still in the market for a CDM. I can't really get one right now. Um, money is a little short if I want to sign Diogo Jota. Uh, Jota, sorry, please let me know how I <laughs> pronounce that name. But um, yeah, money is a little short to go around. Maybe a loan spell for someone might be a good idea. But right now I need to see what members in my current squad can fill that CDM position because McTominay alone I think would be too vulnerable. I make a couple more changes here and there to see if this side can beat QPR. I mean, QPR, I think, is in a lower league, I think, in the championship, or they might be in League One, I don't know. Uh, really have fallen a lot uh, since, like, the early 2010s when they were in the Premier League. Just as I say that, QPR bags a goal in the 17th, 18th minute through Dominic Ball. Uh, great passing in the midfield, and our defense just let him slide straight through. Um, this pass in and he's wide open really we have to sort this out somehow um, but QPR leads and this was pretty much it for the first half there wasn't much happening other than us dominating possession dominating shots on target stuff like that but we can't seem to connect to goal so I decided to switch things up a bit and see if I can bring some new players spark the defense a bit and then maybe spark the attack a little but um, I was thinking, you know what, Marcus Rashford, reliable first team player, putting him up top would be a great idea. So this is where we stand. I give him a boost to positive mentality and QPR keeps knocking on our doorstep, uh, trying to get a second goal to extend their lead. Um, a foul uh, leads them to have a set piece, but the set piece doesn't amount to much. Uh, I decide that Van der Beek is not solution so I bring back Scott McTominay and McTominay comes back in as the CDM so pretty much this shows that I need to be in the market for a CDM and I'm thinking of some names at the moment uh, Tyler Adams I believe his name is I think he's in Europe somewhere he's an American CDM player very young um, young prospect strong player though so I want to see if I can sign him on a loan or maybe sign him on a uh, permanent deal. Uh, other names that I'm playing around with is Tonali in Italy. Uh, hopefully I can bring him in at some point to bolster up that CDM position. Um, seriously, like right now all I'm thinking is CDM and a striker. I think those are some of the important players that I need to get. Defense as well. Center back is a worry, but right now since we just signed Maguire and Lindelof, I'm thinking maybe it's time uh, to let them have a shot in the defense and see where that leads. Uh, Phil Jones is up on the market as well, and uh, Tuan Zebi is also on the market. If Tuan Zebi doesn't sell, I might keep him on the squad and uh, try to foster him into a better player and see where that progresses. Um, making some tactical changes here because I saw that anything down the middle didn't work, so I wanted to use the wings. But Pretty much that tactic didn't work either as we lost the game 1-0 against QPR. Uh, the shortcomings of the team are noted from this uh, match. McTominay didn't like my response that they needed to perform better, but I tried to reassure him that he was doing well. But 
up to no avail, and that didn't matter. Um, Hertha, or rather Bolton, say they want to loan Tai Chong, but I don't know where the uh, where the deal will go. Uh, Paul Pogba is worried because he wants Champions League football, but I assure him that I want to try and achieve Champions League football this season, so he decides to stay. Dalo attracts offers from other clubs, and of course Wolves want to sign him. Ed Woodward went ahead and tried to get Diogo shot. Jota Diogo, let's leave it there and get rejected because I don't know. The contract uh, offer was not good enough for him. And of course, I'm also slightly low on money, so we'll see. So I tried to strike a deal myself somewhere in the region of 40 million, 41 million uh, dollars, something that would rise up to like 60 something dollars. Um, I don't know. That is still a work in progress, but. Good news, Tagdefico agrees and joins um, the squad. Diogo accepts, or rather, Wolves accept my offer, but Diogo does not want to negotiate a contract at this time because of the issues we had last time out. So we're playing Salford City, a very, very low league team, but still ambitious group of players. So I decide to stick with the current squad with McTominay and Pogba in the middle, um, Pereira and Mata on the wings and Rashford up top, giving Martial a little break because if Martial is injured at any point in the season, I want to see if there's any other player that can step up just to find out that Rashford gets injured. <laughs> so I bring back Martial. Uh, but that is a worry if Rashford is heavily injured because that means he might be missing the start of the season. Paul Pogba gives us the lead with a screamer just outside the box. Uh, Paul Pogba did very well here, um, finding space. McTominay gets the rebound from the corner. Uh, but the cross didn't amount to much, but Pogba lets one fly and finds the back of the net. Then another opportunity comes ringing. Aaron Wan Bisaka uh, finds it on the wing and passes it back to McTominay. McTominay to Pogba. Pogba finds Anthony Martial and Martial slides it in to the back of the net to give us a 2 0 lead. Um, this really shows that McTominay and Pogba are really connecting. Um, and Pogba finds Martial very nicely. And that's the kind of balls that I want to see go into the box and. Uh, those are the type of chances that create more chances of uh, goal scoring opportunities. Uh, Martial is onside and we lead 2-0 at the halftime mark. I am pretty happy with the way things are going so I decided to say I'm very happy and I want to see the players continue. I make some changes around the 65th minute mark. Van der Beek, of course, I want to see how he gets along getting used to the team and that's when we win a penalty beautiful penalty opportunity and Martial steps up and scores to give us a 3-0 lead over Salford City. Now it's about 75-76 minutes past and uh, I try Daniel James on the left wing bringing off Mata. I try Lingard as well but they didn't really add much. We just took a 3-0 lead uh, at the end. And it was a good performance overall. And then we find out that Rashford is out for three or four weeks. So it is a worry if he will be ready uh, and fit in a, the season. Taith Chong agrees on a loan deal. And I accept it for him to see how he develops. Um, Lindelof is also with a tight hamstring, but that's a short-term injury. Dalo joined the reserve Portugal squad, also known as Wolverhampton Wolves. Um, yeah, Wolves are just buying Portuguese players at this point. And Fred is also injured uh, when he came back from vacation, but it's a short-term injury as well. He's out for like a day. Um, I decided to stay with the same group, Greenwood and Lingard on the wings, though, to see how this team plays. But the first half was pretty much domination um, and not really much happening. So I decided to spark some creativity in the group by calmly telling them that this is why we go through preseason. I think this is what I say uh, and that I want them to keep going. And really nothing much happened. We were doing so well. Lingard picks up an injury, but it's not major, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, 
Greenwood scores, but this was ruled offside. Um, Bruno got a great corner in, and really we just saw ourselves not creating enough good chances. So I thought Juan Mata might be a good addition to the squad with his creativity, but he wasn't able to bring much in the final 10 minutes. So I was just telling them that I was not too upset, but also I wanted to see more. Crystal Palace come in with a swooping deal for Andreas Pereira. Um, I asked somewhere around 30 mil and they agreed to it. Um, I just want to see him leave and use that money to invest in someone like Diogo or some kind of CDM, but we will see. The squad is a little hurt right now, but nothing too serious. So I decided to send out the same squad as before um, against AEK. Um, Greenwood, again, with his brilliance, uh, finds the bottom of the net. Um, really nice move from Greenwood. Uh, and it was a great pass from Bruno to find him. Or rather, it was Pogba, sorry. Bruno passed to Pogba, Pogba to Greenwood, and Greenwood just finesse shots it to the bottom left hand corner and scores the goal for a 1-0 lead here Pogba goes up finds uh, defenders and Aaron Juan Bisaka has picked up a slight knock so I'm wondering if I should bring him off but Pogba just sends a screamer wild into the back of the net and it is 2-0 to us Aaron Juan Bisaka is a worry right now so I decided to pull him off but McTominay to Pogba again. That is like the magic uh, duo right there. And Pogba just lets one fly. And it's 2-0. So, as per my last thought, I decide to pull off one Bissaka, but Fosu Mensa isn't available yet, so I decide to see if Tuan Zebe can do the job. He's not really natural in that position yet, but we'll see. Pogba finds the ball in the back in the midfield of uh, passes Tagliafico to Pogba to McTominay and McTominay scores a screamer of a goal again this Pogba McTominay partnership is working so I'm hoping to extend on that in the next couple games or if we start the season I want that to be the, the, the pretty much the keystone to the squad Tagliafico really impressing there as well to find Pogba and I'm kind of getting Excited over the prospect of Tagliafico playing for United. Again, Tagliafico on the wing. Skims past one. And then finds <laughs> finds the back of the net through uh, Pogba. Uh, Tagliafico to Lingard, I believe. He does very well to skim past that defender or midfielder. And Lingard finds Pogba to send the ball into the back of the net. Beautiful plays from the squad here, and I'm pretty happy. 4-0 right now. And... Look at this. Seriously, I don't know how that happens, but every single ball over the top and down the middle really knocks our defense out. This was just a goal kick, and the striker just pounces on it, and our defense doesn't do anything about it. And there wasn't much that Sergio Romero could do at that point. Um, really, we have to find a way to stop those, and at halftime, we're leading 4-1. I was very pleased with the boys, so I tell them that, but I know in the back of my head I need to make some tactical changes to see what can happen. Lindelof wasn't showing much of an improvement, so I decided to give Phil Jones a try so that he can you know, get some game time under his belt and also get some attraction to other teams that way. Tony Martial, this one was very interesting because I think he was on side. As you can see, the lines are really overlapped. But VAR claims it to be offside. And that was the only opportunity in that half that we had. But we went for one. So nonetheless, I'm happy. Aaron wan is out for about three or four days. And then again, we tried to tackle this um, squad issue. And I think about signing Alex Tellers. Um, and I offered Luke Shaw and a fee. But if you can see closely i do not accept demand so i don't think the offer is in yet i haven't accepted the demand so we'll see next time because the transfer deadline is today and i've accepted to take part in the final hours of the transfer deadline and this is where i'm going to leave this episode because i want to leave it on a slight cliffhanger to show you guys next time out who i sign and of course there's still time for you guys to influence my decisions please leave a comment down below about who you think i should sign for this squad i'm looking for very young and ambitious players 
players who are strong and will add a lot to the team and can develop over the course of a couple seasons. So that is on my mind. Hopefully I can sign a CDM and striker sometime in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification of when I upload next, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by, and my Twitter is also in the description if you guys want to follow me there to be updated when I upload next. So, see you guys in the next video after I make a lot of managerial changes.